nightmare. A community of fairground workers say they will fight to the death over plans to redevelop land they've lived on for nearly a century. Hounslow Council says it wants to build thousands of new affordable homes on the site in Feltham and is trying to find alternative land for the community. Gareth Furby reports. In the summer, if you want, there's fun to be had at the fair. And between fairs, some of the people who operate these machines live here, in a special showman's yard, where there's room for all their kit and a mobile home. Coconut shy, hoopla stall, dart stall, a shooting range. David and Lil's families have been in this business for hundreds of years. This is a carousel, and it belonged to Lil's granddad. Definitely in the blood. But now they're not happy. Because it's my, my life and my way of life and my families. They're worried they might lose their homes. I was born here, I was born here in my aunt's caravan. The council considers there is a sufficient opportunity to provide new homes. Hounslow Council has written to the show people saying their site in its new master plan is a suitable location for new homes. I never ever thought that I'd have to come to a site that's been in place for a hundred years and as well established as this and try and protect the show people from losing their homes. About 200 people live here. They say they bought the site a hundred years ago when it was a pig farm. Hounslow Council says it has to provide more than 20,000 new homes in 10 years and the site has potential as it's so close to Feltham Town Centre. It says it's trying to find a suitable alternative site for the show people, but they say they will never leave. My grandfather brought this. He came down here with two or three others and they brought plots. Carol Wood has lived here 72 years. She was born at Woking Fair in a caravan. I'm fighting to the death. They will not get me out of here. They'll have to drag me out. Sarah James started working on the fairs when she was nine. And again, she says she will not leave her site. We're just going to fight to the end and that, and we, 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 like, we just want to come off the master plan and we just want to stay. Of course, it could be worth quite a bit of money, this site. Why we don't, we don't want the money. We just want our own. Hounslow Council says its master plan was approved following public consultation and it's engaging with the community. The show people, though, say they'll only rest when their site is excluded from redevelopment. Gareth Furby, BBC London News. A group of London businesses based under railway...